For these students, attention to detail can be the difference between life and death. The Explosive Ordnance Disposal, or EOD training school at Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, teaches students how to disarm bombs. Uh, the EOD motto is in initial success or total failure, and that's a motto we live by. You only get one chance to do it, and if it's not done right the first time, you need to say more. The job isn't for everybody. One out of every three washes out. It's not your typical airman. I mean, we learn a little bit about physics, electronics. Your academic base is so wide and broad to understand how to handle various types of ordnance here that you will come in contact with throughout your EOD career. Improvised explosive devices are the biggest threat to troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. That's why instructors teach students how to locate and disarm them with a sense of urgency. They're in a time crunch, so if they're outside working, it's physically demanding because of the time frame that we put it in. You know, they have to run down range and do certain procedures and get back before they run out of time. Instructors pass on first-hand knowledge they've learned through deploying. The students that I'm teaching right now, I'm going to be working with in, you know, the next year or two years or five years down the road. I look at each student as someone that I would feel comfortable working side by side with. We all have to know the same methods and techniques to be able to handle the ordinance that we come across out there in the battlefield. Students study those techniques in a joint environment, just like when they deploy. It's kind of interesting to see what the different branches kind of personalities are. We are a very small family, a very small career field across all branches. If you earn the EOD badge, you're one of the best, you're one of the elite. Airman Zach Vaughn, Eglin Air Force Base, Florida.